Hey everyone, what's going on? Christopher, the video game historian here. And with the final week of Overture underway, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the rifle that we are rewarded with for completing the snowstorm assignments. That is, the AGM-42 semi-automatic rifle for the Assault class. Designed in 1941 by Erik Eklund of Sweden, this rifle would become the standard issue rifle of the Swedish Army by 1942 and serve until the 1960s before finally being replaced by the Heckler & Koch G3 battle rifle. After the rifle was designed, it quickly went into production at the Stadsgevars factory and immediately adopted by the Swedish Army, of which about 30,000 units of this particular model were produced. One of the reasons why this rifle was adopted so quickly was the fact that during the war, Sweden wished to remain neutral. But with growing fears of an invasion by the Germans in the west and by the Soviets in the east, Sweden continued manufacture of weapons and ordinances for their military defense, and the Otto Gavar M42 was a result of this defense. This rifle relied on a conventional gas operation with a tilting breech block, and its unique direct gas system would actually be used later on in the more well-known AR-10 and AR-15 platforms developed by Armalite in the 1950s and 60s. The receiver cover and the bolt of the gun would work together when firing a round. To manually cock the bolt, one had to push the receiver cover all the way forward, which then locked onto the bolt itself. The bolt would then be pulled back with the receiver cover to put the rifle into battery. It was originally chambered in the 65 by 55 mm rimless cartridge and could hold 10 rounds in the magazine, which could be detached to be reloaded or reloaded by 5 round stripper clips. Unloaded, the rifle weighed a hefty 10 pounds and had an overall length of 47.8 inches. It did have a bayonet lug for a bayonet to be attached to the rifle which was still seen as a standard practice during this time. The overall construction of the rifle was mainly a wooden stock, with the barrel and receiver cover embedded into it. While the Swedes were the initial operators of the rifle, they would eventually be issued to the Norwegian security forces by the end of the war in 1945. After the war, in the early 1950s, the rifle would undergo some modifications for improvements. These new rifles, called the AGM-42Bs, were fitted with stainless steel gas tubes, a modified breech cover with rubber case deflectors on them, and a reworked rear sight and magazine. At the same time, Sweden licensed production of this rifle in Egypt, where an 8mm Mauser variant was produced, known locally as the Hakim. Egypt would also produce a carbine variant, chambered in the 762 by 39 mm round, which was also known as the Rashid. Currently, the AGM-42 is only available as a reward for completing this week's snowstorm challenges in Tides of War. Or if you don't feel like grinding your way through the grand operations, which I can't say I blame you, especially since the challenges don't like to track properly, you can wait until next week when it will be available for purchase for 1700 company coins. For those of you who unlocked it, what do you all think of the rifle? Will it be your go-to semi-automatic rifle, or will you continue to use the Gewehr 43 over it? Let me know what you think of the rifle in the comments below, and until next time, I'll see you all on the battlefield.